Hi guys, Craig here and welcome back to the channel. Today what I'm going to do is a yield test for both of these panels. So we'll measure the energy collected throughout the day and see who wins. And we'll also uh, see who does peak output. So this is the Renergy 220 watt E-Flex panel. And that's the WISE 400 watt panel. So what I've done is I've disconnected two of the WISE panels. So we've got two panels in parallel. So that's going to be 200 watts versus four panels in parallel, which is 220 watts. Beautiful day on the far south coast down here, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I've done here, really, really simple. I've disconnected those two panels, as you can see, they're not plugged in. And these ones are just simply two panels in parallel. So I've had to resurrect the original test rig. So it's back up on the wall. And what I've done is I've plugged the wires panel into the 150 charge controller. And I've rigged up a temporary charge controller here for the Renergy panel. So they're both on VRM, so I can check the status throughout the day. And right now, we've got the Renergy panel generating 82 watts and the WISE panel 200 watt generating 78 watts. Now, at 220 watts over 200, the Renergy should be outputting 10% more under standard test conditions. So we'll check that throughout the day and I'll post the results at the end. So here it is on VRM as well. Okay, it's about 4, 4.30 in the afternoon here now, and I've had these both these panels just facing north all day long. I didn't bother changing the orientation to try and harvest any more yield. If you're at a campsite, you're going to put the panel down, you're going to go off and do your day-to-day -day activities, and then you're going to come back, and what you get is what you get. So that's how I've treated it. Conditions today, not fantastic. Look, a lot of cloud about. It was fine in the morning, but it's come over now. So we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Um, what I might also do, if, if somebody's interested in this panel, I might sell it off now. I've done the testing that I need to do. And uh, Renergy have another panel, which is closer, um, more like a suitcase panel, like the WISE panel. So I might move that along and put the money from that into the uh, Renergy suitcase panel. Um, and compare that and see what that's like. So just, we'll go inside, we'll have a quick look at the results and see which one was the winner. Cliff's helping out again as usual. Okay, so just having a quick look here, I hope you can see that okay. So the Renergy 220 watt uh, put out 640 watt hours today and it's at the moment achieving a, a huge nine watts output. And in comparison, the Wise at 200 watts, remember it was reconfigured to 200 watts only, put out 660 watt hours today. Um, 20 watt hours. I mean, yeah, sure, the Wise panel is the clear winner, but, you know, we're, we're splitting hairs for 20 watt hours. Uh, let me just go in. We'll just have a look at the peak outputs. Bear with me. Let's just look at the detailed history there, and there you can see 192 watts was the total output today for the Renergy. And we'll have a look at the Wise just out of interest. And the Wise panel, detailed, there you go guys, 210 watts. So, the Wise panel did win, um, it wasn't by much. Um, 20 watt hours, who cares, really? You know, if it was significant, um, you know, 100 watt hours or 200 watt hours difference, you'd start worrying. But that's always been, you know, a very reliable panel. So, yeah, anybody wants that and wants to buy it off me, um, reach out on the on the channel or contact me via my website and um, we'll, we'll make a deal. Thanks, guys, and stay tuned for the next one.